Many designers like the intuitive approach of tackling complex mechanism design by laying the problem out first in 2D. SolidWorks 2007 has SketchBot capability to do this. Users just take a series of sketch entities and group them together as a single block. Once grouped as a block, they behave as a single item, or a 2D representation often of what will become a 3D part. Users are very easily able to snap and put these blocks together to better simulate a mechanism. Just as we created a block, we can very easily edit existing blocks. Inside of a block is where much of the intent and dimensional information lives. New in SolidWorks 2007, we can group entities together inside of a block and create a relation path. This path can be used to better simulate more sophisticated motion, much like a cam and cam follower as we're showing here. See as we go through the range of motion, how the follower follows right along what will become our cam when we create a 3D model. Blocks are very commonly reused inside of design. SolidWorks allows users to drag and drop existing blocks or even DWG files from the design library. These blocks can be inserted into a layout and then snapped together with other blocks. As we snap components together, relationships or design intent are added so that we can better simulate how our mechanism will work in the real world. As we snap in our piston into our design, you can see as we go through our range of motion exactly how our motor is going to work. Now we have over on one side our piston and the other side our valve. Here we're going to go ahead and link them together using a timing chain. We simply select existing sketch entities and create a new chain element. Now as we go through our range of motion, notice all of the entities work and move together just as they would work in 3D. This is an intuitive way for us to lay out our designs, look at a full range of motion, and understand exactly how our mechanism will work before ever committing to creating a 3D design. Once users are happy with their concept, SolidWorks makes it very easy to create a new assembly from these sketch blocks. Each sketch block becomes a new part ready to be made into a 3D component as the design continues. As we open up one of our parts, we see the profile that was used in the layout is automatically brought over into this part. Contours from this profile can be very easily used in order to create new 3D geometry. By leveraging these contours, we can be assured that our 3D mechanism will work just like the mechanism we proved out in 2D. As we make 3D components, we can begin to do things like add materials to these components and complete the designs by making 2D documentation. I think you can see how sketch blocks are a great way for users to validate designs in 2D before ever committing to a 3D design, working in a familiar workflow for any 2D user.